So my name is Agata Radkowska Parka. Uh, I represent Rutka, a tour agency uh, from Lublin, Poland, uh, specializing in, as you can assume, uh, Jewish heritage tours. Uh, our main area of interest is uh, Eastern Poland and Western Ukraine, uh, with a special focus on uh, our hometown, uh, Lublin. And uh, during my presentation, I would like to talk about my city and particularly about the event that took place there in the beginning of July this year, uh, the Lublina reunion. Uh, it was first of all the meeting of the descendants of Lublin Jews uh, who, came to the, uh, who came to Lublin on the invitation of the city of Lublin, uh, but also it was in, an, in a way a very indirect and respectful way of promot promoting Jewish heritage tours. Uh, I would like to look at it as a case study uh, for what I believe uh, it's a great model of work. Uh, so first, a uh, few words of introduction about the city of Lublin. Uh, Lublin is situated in eastern Poland. It's the biggest city east uh, from Vistula River, uh, the ninth largest city in population, uh, with around 350,000 inhabitants. Uh, because of its location, it's a big bit of the track uh, of the main tourist uh, roads. Um, this is the map showing um, Poland in the middle wall period. Uh, as you can see, uh, Lublin is right in the center of the country. Um, Jewish life flourished in Lublin since as early as the establishing of the city in 14th century. Uh, within a few centuries, the city became known as a center of religious and academic life of Polish Jews and was even called by some the Jerusalem of Polish Kingdom. Uh, before World War II, uh, there was around 43,000 Jews living in Lublin, uh, which was more or less one-third of the population of the city. Um, Jewish life, uh, the history of Jews in Lublin, was cut short uh, in the war as a result of Aktion Reinhardt, uh, the mass killing of Polish Jews in the area of general government. Uh, Lublin was actually the Aktion Reinhardt uh, center, uh, and its region was the place where two death camps were uh, erected, uh, Bełżyc and Sobibur, uh, and also Majdanek, which was partly a concentration and for uh, some time uh, a death camp. Uh, the Jewish community in, of Lublin region suffered a great loss of population, connecting <coughs> the name of Lublin in memory with uh, death camps and with Aktion Reinhardt. Uh, it is not a place for going into details, but I just want to make it clear that the, the Jewish district was almost completely destroyed uh, by Germans during the war. Uh, in this photo, for example, uh, uh, you can see uh, Sheroka Street. It's a main street of uh, Jewish district. And on the second one, uh, that's how it looks now. It's a completely uh, different space. It's a huge parking lot. Uh, so uh, this void uh, possesses a real problem for us, uh, how to guide uh, through non-existent streets and without much of the material uh, heritage. Uh, it is also important to mention uh, that there is no independent Jewish community in Lublin nowadays and the number of Jews is estimated for around 40 people. Uh, as a result of all these factors, Lublin is associated by many uh, with the history of the Holocaust and death and not with 600 years of uh, Jewish history preceding it. Uh, this raises a, a question, uh, how, to, how to promote Jewish heritage tourism in the city with almost no Jews and a little of Jewish heritage sites. Uh, one answer we gave to that question was the Lublin reunion. Uh, in 2017, uh, Lublin is celebrating 700 years of its history. And as a part of the program, the Lublina reunion was designed uh, to emphasize the significance of the Jewish community uh, in the city's history. Uh, so uh, the Lublina reunion was the event that uh, gathered over uh, 260 people uh, from 16 countries. Uh, uh, among them, the um, biggest number came from U.S., uh, 63 uh, people, 61 from Israel, and then from Poland, France, Canada, Sweden, and uh, others. Uh, one third of the participants came to Lublin for the first time in their lives. Uh, they were coming either with whole families, uh, individually, or in organized groups, uh, like a group from uh, Lublin Landsmannschaft. 
the youngest participant was an uh, eight-month-old boy uh, from France, uh, and the oldest one was 90-year-old woman from Canada. Uh, we also had an honor uh, of hosting two Holocaust survivors, uh, born and raised in Lublin, uh, who came to, to Lublin uh, for the first time after the war. Uh, within five days um, of the reunion, the participants had a chance to choose from the variety of uh, activities. Uh, one of the central uh, features uh, were the presentation of Lubliner's family stories. Uh, it was really important for the organizers uh, to give them the opportunity to share their stories uh, so they can speak and, and uh, to be listened to. Uh, Twelve people decided uh, to give a speech and it was included uh, into official program. Uh, everyone could come, both the participants and also uh, residents of Lublin. It was open for the, for the public. Uh, every day of the reunion uh, we had uh, genealogical workshops and consultations, uh, lectures concerning the history of uh, Jewish Lublin, meetings with people involved in education and Polish-Jewish dialogue, uh, among them, for example, Catholic bishops, uh, commemoration ceremonies uh, like an international inauguration of Memory Trail, uh, a new commemoration done by Grodzka Gate this year to mark the borders of the ghetto and the uh, last path to Umschlagplatz, uh, and artistic events, concerts, theater performances, exhibition, uh, on the photo, for example, uh, you see the concert of Jakob Lemmer, a cantor from New York, whose uh, grandfather used to be a student in, uh, in Lublin's yeshiva. Uh, so it was a nice coincidence. Uh, city tours, uh, 22 walking tours on seven different roads, showing both Jewish heritage but also uh, top tourist attraction of the city. Uh, 17 regional tours for groups and for individuals. Uh, on the picture, for example, you see over 30 people, family, that met in such a big number for the first time uh, and went to a village near Lublin to see the places their uh, ancestor uh, grew up in. And finally, uh, for the end of the event, a Shabbat dinner as a closing ceremony, which was open, again, both for the participants and for Lublin residents. Um, Bringing the participants to the reunion was fir first and foremost the result of the initiative of Grodzka Gate um, NN Theatre Center, which for 25 years uh, has been working in the field, promoting the dialogue and preparing the foundation for such an event to be created. Natalia already mentioned a few times uh, the name of Grodzka Gate, so for those one who doesn't know the uh, organization, uh, it's a municipal cultural institution uh, devoted to commemoration, uh, documentation, and education of the Jewish past of the city of Lublin. Uh, it is important to stress the fact that uh, Grodzka Gate is a public institution uh, founded by the city and its workers are mostly uh, non-Jewish Poles. Uh, so, in fact, Lubliners came on the official invitation of the city of Lublin and were welcomed by the city officials. Uh, the whole event was also possible thanks to the financial support of the city of Lublin. Uh, secondly, uh, it, w it was uh, possible thanks to the cooperation of a number of organizations uh, working in the Jewish field, city institution uh, and local business. Uh, among them, Rutka acting as an official tour operator and partner of the program, which, just to remind you, I represent. Yep. Uh, uh, promotion included all the, mean, uh, all the most popular uh, contemporary means, uh, like social media, uh, websites, uh, Facebook events, and uh, Facebook closed groups. Uh, where people uh, wrote and shared questions, found answers not only about the program of the event, uh, but also their family stories, helping each other to, to research further. Uh, and one of the most effective ways of reaching our target crowd uh, turned out what we called the ambassadors of the gate. Uh, everyone knows the term uh, whisper marketing. Um, I think it's something that works the best, the, 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 the word of mouth. Uh, personal recommendation from people that went through a significant experience and are personally devoted. 
Uh, for Lublin, one such a person is uh, Liora Tech, a daughter of a uh, Holocaust survivor uh, who grew up on the same stigma of Poland as a place of death and was not willing to search for anything else. Uh, but after she came uh, to Lublin, met Grodzka Gate, its staff and activities, uh, she understood that there is much more to Lublin and its history and became a great ambassador of the gate and uh, the city of Lublin. Uh, while promoting the reunion, we used the idea of uh, ambassadorship to reach the target participant on the personal level. Uh, we've created kind of unofficial representatives so far in Jewish communities in US, Israel and Sweden. Uh, we already feel uh, the growth of our uh, ambassador community following the reunion. Uh, and I can already tell you that much of my work now is preparing itineraries for groups and individuals who heard of us from the participants of the reunion. Uh, for the purpose of that presentation, uh, I've contacted some of the participants to hear their uh, perspective over the project. <coughs> Uh, it is important to mention that they kept in touch with us uh, and want to stay updated and remain involved uh, with what's going on in Lublin. Uh, I've got a feedback from everyone I asked to share a few words uh, and notice that this feedback was given to me three months after the event. The event was in uh, July, so uh, it is enough time to get over the excitement and to give an objective message. Um, and we don't have time to read all the feedbacks, but uh, the general message can be summar summarized uh, by one short quotation uh, from Zvika, a participant from Israel. Uh, the reunion was kind of a gate to Lublin for us. Lublin does not, does not have to be a place uh, of grieving, but also a, place, uh, a good space for education, family meetings, and simply a place for having fun. Uh, I want to share another <coughs> moving story of a participant following the reunion, a uh, story of Zipora. Uh, Zipora uh, was born in a small town in the Lublin region. Uh, she survived the Holocaust, among the others, uh, she survived few camps, but among the others also Majdanek, the, the camp in, uh, in Lublin. And after uh, the war, she uh, ended up in an orphanage in Lublin. Uh, she left Poland uh, in the end of, uh, she left Lublin in the end of 40s. Uh, never to come back until the reunion. Uh, it wasn't easy for her, and try to imagine that this 87 uh, years old woman uh, coming back to Lublin, and she was so touched and so uh, impressed by what she experienced that she decided to come back uh, to Lublin for a month uh, and work as a volunteer uh, in Grotzka Gate, uh, a Holocaust survivor who thought she will never come back uh, to Lublin. Uh, of course, uh, we are not going to hold such a reunion annually, uh, but what we are seeing is a growing bus following uh, the event. Uh, we have much more uh, organized group planning to come to Lublin next year, uh, interested in getting to know more sites of the city, uh, from Holocaust study tours, uh, through heritage groups and private visitors, uh, to even people searching uh, for having fun or spending a day shopping. Uh, of course, I don't think it's all the result of the reunion. Uh, there are many other things changing in Poland and in Lublin specifically. Uh, maybe the most significant uh, is the development of Lublin Airport uh, and the direct connection opened to Israel this year. Uh, Lublin has its momentum uh, right now and the reunion was part of it, creating this positive atmosphere uh, around the city. <coughs> Uh, it didn't all happen with one event or within one year. Uh, it took years of hard work in the field of uh, memory and commemoration. And uh, demonstrating this approach led me to quote from Tomasz Pietrasiewicz, uh, head of Grodzka Gate uh, and then theater. Uh, the, the spiritus movens of most of the activities in the Jewish field in Lublin and the initiator of the reunion. Uh, <coughs> speaking uh, on the inauguration ceremony. After 25 years uh, and all the work we had done with the memory of Lublin Jews, I can finally find the courage to stand in front of you, look into your eyes and say, welcome home. From my personal point of view, uh, for me as an entrepreneur working in the Jewish fields, uh, I know uh, that there is no marketing without memory. 
without a deep understanding uh, and without the respect toward the past. Uh, I'm not only involved in business, I'm a part of the community involved in uh, Jewish commemoration and education activities. <coughs> My travel agency uh, could not have been created uh, only as a business initiative. I, I think it wouldn't, it, it, uh, it wouldn't work in a longer perspective. Uh, I deeply believe that in order to promote Jewish heritage uh, tours, especially in Poland, uh, you need to try to deal with your history, uh, commemorate victims, work on memory and work with descendants. Uh, and uh, if people see that the work you're doing is uh, authentic and dedicated, uh, that's, it, it's not a fake. Uh, they're willing to come and spend some time and enjoy their stay. Uh, I believe it's just a fair and respectful way of marketing Jewish heritage tools. Uh, so I hope to see you uh, in Lublin. Uh, you're very welcome. If you have any questions, that's my contact uh, information and I will be happy to answer all your questions after the uh, presentations. Thank you.